Visio is a very important part of networking, and that gives you the documentation needed in order to go back to your network and see a high level view in order to make any changes to your network. Now, I've opened up Visio, and here you can see a basic network diagram as well as a detailed one. Let's start with the basic network diagram, and I'll just create a blank one. And on the left-hand side, you can see the network and peripherals. So there's lots of different options here. You've got the server, the router, the firewall, all these different areas. What I'm going to do in this particular demonstration is create a network just for network devices. And typically what you would do as a systems administrator or as a network administrator is you'd create two different types or even more of the various different Visios. But the two that you really need, one is going to be for your network devices and the other is going to be for other types of devices like servers. And now it's possible to have a single Visio that covers all these different areas, but then the Visio diagram becomes so muddied with all the different connections and everything, it makes it very difficult to follow, which makes a good idea to create more than one diagram. Let's start this out with a switch. Every network needs to have a backbone switch. And that switch is going to be something that all the other devices are connected to when you talk about a star type of a network, which most networks are nowadays. And that's opposed to a ring network. So we'll just call this our core switch. Now, a lot of times you'll have multiple core switches that are going to fail over to each other just to be on the safe side in case you have any type of outage of your core switch. So I'll go ahead and increase the size of the font to make it easier to see. And now we have our core switch. The next thing you want to do is to put in an IP address. I'll put in 192.168.100.1 slash 24, just as an example. And connected to your core switch is probably going to be your firewall that gets you out to the internet. So double click on that. You can see a little box that pops up underneath. And I'll just call this one firewall. And I'll give it an IP address as well. And I'll give it a .254. But you can give it whatever works best for you. Now there's going to be some other switches that are going to be connected to your network as well. They're not all going to be your core switch. Uh, your core switch is typically going to be a layer three. So I'll just put in an L3, which also makes it a router as well. And it has to make sure that it supports what's called inter VLAN routing. So it can switch between multiple different types of subnets or VLANs. So this other switch, we're going to call this one a layer two switch. So we'll call it layer two switch. And you might have many of these different switches that are connected out throughout your network. So let's go ahead and increase that. And we'll give it an IP address. And we'll give it 253. And you can increase or decrease the size of your font as needed. Next, we're going to have some wireless access points. So you'll put one out for each of the different access points that you have. And we'll give that an IP address. And you'll probably have some network printers. So we'll drag a printer out there. And let's we'll call this one network printer. You might have a lot of different network printers. And of course, you're going to want to create an icon for each one of those. On the left hand side, if there's something that you would like to add in, but you just don't see it, you can click on some of these various different other categories that automatically get added in to the basic network. And there's quick shapes, things like that, more shapes as well. that You can then go ahead and add. But if you can't find what you're looking for just because there's so many different shapes or it doesn't exist, then just go ahead and type what you want. So I'm going to add in the cloud and I'll give it an IP and it's going to have a public IP. So I'll just go ahead and make up a public IP here. And I'll increase the size. And the firewall, I'm going to add an additional IP because that's just the inside IP address is the .254. But I also have to be on the outside as well. And it has to be the same subnet as my internet cloud. 
And now it's time to connect all these together. So we need to go to the connector option. And then, for instance, I'm going to connect my core switch to all these devices because ultimately everything is going to connect to the core switch internally. However, the firewall is going to be the only thing that connects out to my internet cloud. And this is your basic network using Visio. When you're all done, just go ahead and save it. You can save it as a picture. You can save it as a Visio drawing, which you can go and edit later. You can add a background and all other types of extras into this particular drawing that you see here. Visio is a tool that every network administrator and sysadmin should have in their tool belt for being able to create great high-level views of their network and devices.